On the heels of the Gabby Petito missing persons case, the national spotlight led to questions about why some cases get more attention than others. Tonight, I go in depth speaking with a high desert detective and the parents of two adult children who disappeared in the desert. Why they say heavy media attention helps get the word out, but social media speculation can sometimes lead the investigation in the wrong direction, wasting precious time. The first thing he said to me was, um, beware of social media. Wayne Lloyd knows firsthand the downfall of speculation and gossip. His daughter Erica disappeared in the desert in the heat of the summer of 2020 near Joshua Tree National Park. Immediately, flyers were printed, families started the Erica Lloyd Missing Facebook page, and others quickly picked up the story, like True Crime Society and the podcast Unfound. A gentleman had claimed that he saw her at the rest stop, at the Whitewater rest stop on I-10. Instead of searching, you know, up in 29 Palms, we flipped all the searching down on I-10 from, you know, pretty much, you know, Brawley all the way up to uh, Palm Springs and all the way up to the eastern side of L.A. So she didn't wander too far from her car, I, and I think... Uh, uh, based on the condition she was found in, she didn't have any water. Detective Halloway was on the Lloyd case, which was full of twists and turns. But ultimately, her remains were found six months after her disappearance by hikers in Wonder Valley. Foul play was ruled out. Family says mental illness played a role. The thing that made it difficult in, in that case were the wild theories, the wild stories that were floating around some of which the origins are still not known to this day. We talked a little bit about how you do need tips from the public, how you do want the help, you're not gonna turn it away, but where is the line crossed? I think the line is crossed when it becomes somebody's opinion rather than a tip. Public opinion, curiosity, speculation, mystery, and intrigue, all a part of the Gabby Petito case. <laughs> and because of all the attention, a national debate began over racial disparities in news media coverage. At the same time, Korean-American Lauren Cho was reported missing in Yucca Valley. Here I am and I stand. A transplant from New Jersey, living in an artist colony, and one day walking into the desert never to be seen again, becomes a sensational story which attracts more attention. Detective Halloway says there's another big reason cases get noticed. I, I think some of the cases that, that are more high profile are, are honestly because the family raises more, more flags. It, it's, to use an old tired expression, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And that rings true in the Rachel Wynn and Joseph Orbeso case. The pair went for a hike in late July 2017 in Joshua Tree National Park and never made it back to their Airbnb. This prompted a massive search. The family was there every step of the way. Gilbert, Joseph's father, searching with a team of people who helped navigate the park's rough terrain on the weekends. While he was focused on finding his son, it was taking a toll. So I took a rest one week, came back the following weekend, and went every weekend until, until we found him. Joseph and Rachel were found dead three months after they went missing. While it wasn't the outcome the Orbeso family was hoping for, Gilbert says finding them felt like a victory. And now he actually finds the desert a place of solace. I go up there because we found Joseph and Rachel. And that's a sense of peace, and not 100%, but a sense of peace. Because if we didn't find them, a whole different scenario and whole different speculation would be out. Detective Halloway says while armchair sleuths and social media conjecture can shift an investigation off the right path, he makes it clear all information is vital and the best tips are those based on fact, not speculation. Some person may have a bit of information that they don't think is relevant but can, be, can turn out to be relevant. The bottom line, according to Halloway, if you see something, say something. It could be a vital clue to finding a missing person. Tonight at 6.30 on CBS Local 2, I'm talking with Peter Doubt about the mystery and intrigue that draws people to the Joshua Tree area. 
Hear what the detective had to say about why there's a high number of missing persons reports filed there and what he says about the rumors of a high desert serial killer. And for more in-depth coverage on Lloyd and Obeso cases, head to our website, KESQ.com.